Good morning out there, traders. Welcome to the Apteros Daily Market Insight. It is April 1st, 2024. No April Fool's jokes here. We're just going to go through our normal routine and we will check out our recap and then update our session plan and levels for today. So looking at the recap here, generally we were bullish up above uh, this line in the sand area here with scenario one. And that's really all we're going to talk about for today's session. We had some neutral references to pay attention to here for any kind of acceptance to the upside and continuation with scenario one. Uh, but as we can see from the actual trading session, there really was just absolutely zero opportunity here. And why is that? Well, we were looking at this neutral area here for acceptance up above. In other words, we were looking for rhythm to take over this market to get a long out of scenario. One, um, right around the open, which is right around here, uh, we were a little bit below it, comes up through it, and we're inside of it for most of the trading session. That is... You know, it's, there's no acceptance here. There's no opportunity to the upside going with scenario one. So we're just kind of waiting, sitting. It pulls back a little bit deeper, holds down here for a second, and then shoots back up through it. Once again, still no opportunities in terms of acceptance. Then we finally get some acceptance. If you're looking at rhythm here to the upside, uh, we actually see some, some acceptance into our first uh, neutral target there. So as the pullback comes into this zone, uh, into the close, this was a possible scalping type of level opportunity, uh, but with no time left really in the session, you know, you have very little time, about a half an hour. There's really nothing for a Nadro trader who trades a position uh, intraday to do. Now, if you're a scalper, minor opportunity here with some small MFE, you know, it's possible, but for normal Nadro trading, there was just zero opportunity according to this DMI to get on board with the bulls with scenario one. And that's actually a decent outcome whenever it comes to analysis and opportunity because you know, it's not, you're not always gonna get the opportunity to go along with your scenarios. And having those filters allows you to make the best decisions possible with your analysis. And today, you know, or not today, but the last, uh, last Friday was really a session where there was just nothing for us to do. And those filters applied accurately and properly kept us out of the market um, completely on a day where the market really didn't do much, didn't really release, just rotated around. So let's uh, update our session plan and levels for today and check out what's going on. Okay, so taking a look at today, today is a unique situation because we have a lot of rollover on our time frame. So we are using some static references uh, with that rollover because it's a Monday, it's a new month, it's a new quarter, all that kind of stuff. So looking at what's going on with today's DMI, we have a main line in the sand right here. And this line in the sand is kind of the early session defining area. And what we're looking at is being bullish up above, which is what we are currently in, and bearish down below this line in the sand. So bulls up above, bears down below. Both sides of this line in the sand have trade opportunity. So that's what we're going to be monitoring during the session. Taking a look at scenario one, um, which is, like I said, is what we're currently in. We have neutral target areas here and here if we get that full pullback. So in other words, if we get that inflection here, that's where we're targeting for neutral uh, destinations. If we just kind of hold up above this neutral one, it's a minor level you know, type of opportunity. Once again, very low level uh, scalp along with scenario one. But this is the overall destination um, for targeting here. So scenario one's main target really is this neutral area here. If we start to see holds up above and this market really you know, breaks out to the upside again. A uh, couple of things to monitor, right? First thing to monitor would be these previous highs. If you get up above those, we have a possible stretch target in continuation out into 53.68. Now, highs are not something that we normally monitor in any way, shape, or form for like price action and, and things like that. Only whenever it kind of makes sense with the analysis and why I'm saying, you know, pay attention to those highs is mainly because we're out in open space here. Our Nadra references are kind of sparse whenever we get up above uh, the 5322s, you know, pretty much out into the 5368s. So prior price action, something like that is is useful for us in terms of scaling and targeting and getting an idea of whether or not the market is in a more bullish state or kind of a rotational one. So just something to monitor whenever you're out in open space like this, uh, just something to pay attention to. So that's scenario one. If we get scenario two, scenario two would be a breakdown of our bullish line in the sand. Heading into this neutral target is our first zone here to pay attention to. That would be kind of the first expectation with a breakdown in scenario two. If it continues lower, 
this would be the full scenario to target down here into this bullish area. And that's really what we'd be looking for um, out of scenario two for a stretch target as well. So our first target would be this intermittent neutral area and then the full stretch target down below here into the bullish zone uh, for scenario two. And that's really the main breakdown of the two scenarios today for the DMI. If we do get down here somewhat early in the session, we'll have to pay attention to uh, this area here for bullish inflections or bearish breakdowns. You can treat this the same way as any line in the sand um, where we'll be looking for you know, upside and downside from that zone as well. Okay, mind your risk, trade well out there. Have a great trading day and uh, let's get after it.